Hello everyone, I'm Priyans and today I'm going to talk about a more mysterious type of neutrino. Sterile neutrinos. I really think that at least some of you know at least something about neutrinos. But still, a brief introduction is necessary. So let's start the quest to unlock the mysteries of the weird, sterile neutrino. So first, what are neutrinos? Neutrinos are a class of fundamental particles. Neutrinos are neutral particles which interact only through gravity and the weak force. Neutrinos have very little mass, as little as, for a very long time scientists have thought that they are massless. There are three flavors of neutrinos, the electron neutrino, muon neutrino and tau neutrino. They are so named because most of the interactions where neutrino is produced, the partner particle of neutrino also shows up. That helps us identify the flavor of the original neutrino. Neutrinos are uncharged leptons. A lepton is a group of elementary particles of half integer spin that does not undergo strong interaction. As I said, neutrinos only interact with gravity and the weak force. Because of this, it is very hard to detect neutrinos. About 3 million billion solar neutrinos enter every square meter of Earth's surface and pass out to the other side, unimpeded. Okay, so what are sterile neutrinos? Sterile neutrinos are also neutrinos, but they do not even interact through the weak force. They interact only through gravity. How does that happen? Okay, so from now onwards, the trickier part of the video is starting. To understand this, you must know helicity and chirality. So let's talk about them first. Helicity is easier to understand. It in a way connects spin to the motion of a particle. For example, if two particles are moving in certain positive direction, one with clockwise spin and other with counterclockwise spin. Remember that particle spin does not really mean that the particle is actually spinning. But this analogy works for forming a picture in our mind. So the helicity of a particle with clockwise spin is right-handed and with counterclockwise spin, the helicity is left-handed. Helicity depends upon the reference frame of the observer. If the observer starts moving faster than the particle, with the frame of reference of the observer, the direction of the particle's motion would be reversed or the direction of the motion of the particle would be negative. Hence, helicity will also get reversed. The thing is that helicity of a particle is relative, it is not inherent to the particle, except for massless particles where helicity is always the same for every observer. Because massless particles travel at the speed of light and the speed of light is always the speed of light from every frame of reference. So is there something that is similar to helicity but is inherent to all the particles and does not depend upon the frame of reference of the observer? It turns out there is chirality. Chirality is a bit trickier to define. Chirality and helicity is closely related ideas and for massless particles, chirality and helicity are the same. Chirality can also be left-handed or right-handed, but it is an inherent property of the particle itself. Uh, to understand it, let's take the case of an electron which is a spin half particle. That means it needs to rotate 720 degrees or two full 360 degree rotation to come back to their original quantum state. So if you rotate the electron to 360 degrees, the electron will not reach its original quantum state. It is the negative of the original quantum state. And all of this can be visualized to be happening on a complex plane. So the path the electron chooses to reach the quantum state defines its chirality. If it goes one way, it's the right-handed chiral electron. If it goes the other, it is the left chiral electron. The broader meaning of this has to do with the phase of the wave function of the electron. So what does all of this has to do with the sterile neutrino? Remember, sterile neutrino does not interact with the weak force and that is what makes them different from normal neutrinos. So why they does not interact with the weak force has to do with the chirality of the neutrinos. So a rather abstract feature of the standard model is that it is a chiral theory. That means in the standard model, right chiral particle dif behaves differently than the left chiral particles. In particular, the weak force only interacts to left chiral or left-handed matter particles and right chiral or light-handed antimatter particles. This is a kind of parity violation. So for example, weak force only interacts through left chiral or handed electrons and does not interact through right chiral or handed electrons. It turns out it does so because left chiral matter particles and right chiral antimatter particles contain an additional charge, weak hypercharge in it. It is identical to electrical charge, but uh, it works for weak force, not for the electromagnetic force. Because of this, 
weak force only interact with left handed particles and right handed antimatter particles. Particles can change their chirality. So, for example, a left chiral particle can change its chirality and become right chiral. But in this process, the weak hypercharge that the left chiral particle contained would have to be released, and the newly formed right chiral particle will not contain any weak hypercharge. Same way, a right chiral particle which wants to change its chirality needs to gain some weak hypercharge to change its chirality. Okay, so right chiral or hand matter neutrinos and left chiral or hand antimatter neutrinos does not interact via the weak force because they do not contain the weak hypercharge and these neutrinos are known as the sterile neutrino. Till date, there is no conclusive evidence that such a particle exists. Experiments have shown mixed results. But if such a particle truly exists, it will be quite remarkable to detect it. Till date, sterile neutrinos remains a hypothetical particle. Thanks for watching.